All right, first of all, what is krill oil? Krill oil, as the name implies, comes from krill. Krill are small crustaceans that live deep in the ocean where it is extremely cold. They actually look a little like shrimp. But even though they're small, they make up the largest animal biomass on the planet. Real oil and fish oil are similar, and they both contain the omega-3 fats EPA and DHA, which are complete fatty acids. The difference is that the omega-3 fats in fish oil are found in the triglyceride form. In krill oil, they're in the phospholipid form. Your fat cells and your cell walls are in the phospholipid form also, which makes krill oil that much easier to absorb. Krill oil also contains astaxanthin, which is an antioxidant that helps protect against ultraviolet light and also helps increase the ORAC potency of krill oil up to 48 times that of fish oil. The main reason is we consume way too few omega-3 fats and way too many omega-6 fats. The ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fats is 1 to 1. On average, our intake is around 20 to 1. That is a big problem for our health. One of the reasons we consume way too many omega-6 fats is because of all the vegetable oils we use every day, like corn and sunflower oil which are full of omega-6 fats. Many scientists believe that when we consume large quantities of omega-6 fats, it can trigger inflammation, uh, sensitivity to pain, and thickening of the blood. Scientific studies have shown that increasing your omega-3 fats can reduce your chances of inflammatory diseases. So, how do we do this? The best way is by eating fish. The problem is, the majority of our fish supply is heavily contaminated with pollutants, uh, heavy metals, PCBs, and other toxins. Fish oil is perishable and becomes rancid very quickly, so you need to take extra antioxidants along with it. Now, Since krill oil has 48 times the antioxidant potency as traditional fish oil, you don't have the same risk of rancidity as you would with fish oil. Krill oil has been shown to be beneficial for a wide variety of health issues, such as anti-aging, uh, protection of cell membranes, healthy cholesterol levels, healthy liver function, uh, relief of PMS symptoms, uh, boosting your immune system. There have been several studies published on krill oil and fish oil showing EPA and DHA concentrations increasing significantly more with krill oil. A study in particular showed HDL cholesterol, which is your good cholesterol, improving 10 times more with krill oil than with fish oil. In the same study, the LDL cholesterol which is your bad cholesterol, decreased 32% with krill oil and only 2% with fish oil. All right, so it's clear. Everyone needs to be consuming complete essential fatty acids, specifically omega-3 fats. Again, to improve your health, you need to get your ratio of omega-6 fats equal with your omega-3 fats. Now, since we can rely on eating fish for essential fatty acids due to potential risk of toxins, uh, that leaves us with omega-3 supplements. And when selecting any supplement, you need to look at quality. Now, krill oil is becoming more and more popular. And as with any supplement, you're going to find a lot of crap out there. You need to make sure you choose a quality krill oil. It needs to be compliant with international fishing standards, meaning it needs to be harvested in cold waters and far away from pollutants. Hey, I hope this helps. Check out bradgainsfitness.com for some more health and fitness tips. Peace. Go!